The Woodchop is sponsored by Welcome back. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video Friday. Robin and I had a lot of fun putting that together. It's just a quick little project. I filmed it and it took me about two hours. So if you weren't, it was it maybe an hour project, but it was fun. I did have a question about the battery though, how to change that. So it has that little, little rubber seal in there, right there. So that thing locks it in. Just be, when you're cutting the tendon in there or the recess in there, just make sure it's, it fits nice. But you can change the battery, set the time and pop it right back in and I think I said too, I think maybe I'd do a, a wooden ring next time, but it worked out all right. But it's just a fun little, fun little pro quick project. And you can, you can get those at most of the, the turning places. But I did have a question about hot glue, because I hot glued that on. So I've been using this for years. Um, I, I mostly do it with small stuff like boxes and things, but I have turned turned uh, stuff as big as about 10 inches, maybe a small shallow bowl. And I'm not sure if I'd go much bigger than that, but it, it would probably hold. I did a video a long time ago where I glued it on, just glued a block onto the waste block and I used the maple waste block. And I let it set up and I smacked it with a hammer just to show everybody that it's, it will hold. And it'll break the waste block before this glue will give. And this is just regular hot glue you get at the craft store, just Michaels or Hobby Lobby. It's just the longer sticks. There's nothing special about it. The glue gun I picked up at a yard sale. I think the craft, uh, places sell these now. It's just a little bigger gun and it gets it a lot hotter than the, the little teeny uh, glue guns. So that's the only thing. Make sure it gets it all hot and melted when you stick it on there. But you, you shouldn't have any problem at all with it. And to part it off, I just use a parting tool. Just And it cuts like butter and slices it right off. And it's a great way to save wood so you don't have to make a tenon for your chuck or, or screw, uh, screws into it or faceplate or anything. So it works great. All right, I, oh, I got to go to the beach last weekend. Look what I found. Very nice. All right, and I was down on the beach and I found a giant maple log. And I've talked about this before. I used to go down the beach a lot and get wood off the beach uh, during the winter after storms. I would go down there when it was still fresh, all the bark and everything on it. But this one's been down there quite a while, but it's just a beautiful piece of wood. It's uh, just covered in burls and fiddle back. It's been down there a long time though. Um, and it was a ways away from the parking lot or I would have just ran down there and grabbed a chunk of it. But here in Oregon, you can just get a, I believe you have to have a firewood permit. And I think they're, I don't know, 15 bucks or something. And you can go down there and cut it up and, and just like going up the woods getting firewood. But uh, and there's a lot of places down here where there's hardly any driftwood on, on this beach right here, but it's just stacked up, you know, 40 feet deep and you can go down there and saw all day long. Um, all right, uh, but, oh, the Bantar Club. I have a bunch of stuff. The Bantar Club. I put up a trailer on Wednesday and Pat and I have the video done. It, we're gonna release it on fr uh, this coming Friday. We uh, had a great time. It's been a long time coming. We had to ship stuff back and forth and, and uh, logistics and everything, but it, we've had a great time putting it together. So that will be out Friday. And I already put it up on, on Patreon for the Patreon guys, but uh, a lot of fun. Thank you very much, Pat, for all your help. And I had a great time working with you. All right. Um, I, oh, Gene sent me uh, uh, a couple of pictures right here on the train he's working on. He's uh, working with the Santa's, Santa's Little Helpers. So I will put a link down below to the, that Facebook page and it's where they uh, do handmade toys and stuff. So it's a great thing. He's getting a very early start on it, but I will put a link down below that. And I believe he's on uh, Reddit too. So I'll put a link down below to the wood turning site on, on Reddit uh, and you can go check that out. And I'm not sure if the Santa's, Santa's Little Helper is working with the both of them or what, but uh, anyway, I will put a link down below and you can check them out. All right, uh, oh, I had a question. Somebody asked me about the stickers on the lathe. So everybody's always stealing videos and uploading videos as their own and, and so anyway, it's a mess. So I decided I would just, if they're gonna take them, I'll help out a couple of my buddies and uh, I'd rather have the sponsors get, get some plugs and that's why I put mine down there and everything else. So they're gonna do it anyway. All right, that's why I put them on there. 
Um, and Lynn from Darbin Arbin is her, I will put a link down below to her channel. I'll put a link down below to her blog post too. She's having a makers meetup in Corvallis, Oregon. So any YouTube, if you uh, upload videos or if you just yeah, a fan or something, you can go down there. I believe I have to work on that Saturday at the Woodcraft. I believe we have a class, but if something happens and, and uh, I don't, I will be there. So that is May 14th in Corvallis, Oregon, and she has all the details on her blog and it's down below in the description. And uh, the UK and Ireland, Ireland Wood Turning Symposium. We're getting down to the wire here. It's June 18th and 19th. So if you haven't gone over there and checked it out, go check that out. They have a bunch of great demonstrators. I believe they still have some openings for the demonstrators. And if not, you can always just go and hang out there. A lot of great vendors and get to meet Mike and Martin and Steve and a lot of other people. So if you're going to be in the area, go go check that out. And I believe they're doing some live, uh, live shows there too. So that should be fun. All right. I have uh, some pictures to share. Yes. I have Frank. He sent me these bowls here. Very nice. Great job, Frank. And Jared he sent me another picture of a bowl. Nice job. And Scott, he, uh, the pepper mill, pepper, salt and pepper grinder uh, combo kit, he did one. Very nice. Great job, Scott. And I hope I'm pronouncing it. Emmy, I hope I pronounced that right, did this. Uh, this is the first bowl with the polymer clay. And I shared a couple pictures uh, a few weeks ago with, with the polymer clay and shared a channel. And uh, But cool stuff. That is some neat stuff. And thanks for everybody. They gave me some links to Amazon where I can get this stuff. So very nice. And Stefan, and I believe I've shared some of his stuff recently, but he did an inside out goblet. So very nice. Great job. All right, I believe that is about it. And like I said, the the Bantar collab is coming out Friday, and so it should be a lot of fun. I know it's a lot of fun. I've watched it several several times. Pat did a great job on it. He put the video together, and uh, just fantastic. So stay till the end if you're a musician. You're going to enjoy that. All right. Till next time, take care. And if this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday on my main channel. There's the link at the end of the video to that, to that channel. All right, till next time, take care.